Well, things have gotten off to a violent start here in Jackson to start the new year. According to our numbers, 14 homicides have happened so far in 2024. But now a new public safety initiative is being implemented, looking to curb the city's crime problems. Greener Side's Quentin Smith joins us live from JPD headquarters to tell you about the teamwork that will be involved to keep you and the capital city safe. That's right, Howard. It's called Operation Unified. It consists of local, state, and federal agencies all teaming up, working together to get drug traffickers and criminals off the streets. Now, this operation has been in place since the middle of January, and so far, arrests have already been made. Tonight, Governor Tate Reeves and law enforcement officers are sending a strong message to anyone thinking about committing a crime. I want to speak directly to those who are using our capital city as their criminal playground. Governor Tate Reeves. Your time here is over. Not holding back as he announces a new operation in full effect, cracking down on crime in the capital city. You don't run this city and you're not immune to the law. It's called Operation Unified. Nearly a dozen agencies, including the Jackson and Capitol Police Departments, along with the FBI and Hines County Sheriff's Department, all teaming up together. The criminal element will no longer be able to thrive in the city of Jackson. They will falter. They will fail. And the great citizens of Jackson will prosper. Under this operation, you can expect to see an increased police presence all throughout Hines County with officers in both marked and unmarked cars. Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba says he welcomes this unified effort and he believes Operation Unified will help with the ongoing crime problems. We will unleash every tool in our toolbox to ensure that we create a safer city for all Jacksonians. We are continuing to establish our Office of Violence Prevention and Trauma Recovery so that we not only respond to crimes, we become intelligent enough to stop them from happening in the first place. Now, there's more than just a policing effort here to reduce crime. Additional prosecutors have been hired at the Hines County District Attorney's Office. Also, the state has hired more public defenders as well. We're live from outside JPD headquarters tonight. Quentin Smith, 3 on your side.